where she's going to be able to to be with me but we're having a wonderful adventure and I'm reading her the Lord of the Rings and and just basically doing everything I can to make her last time here on the planet uh, be as rewarding and fulfilling as possible and also Hecate is teaching me the lessons of aging and how to age gracefully and to do it with joy and uh, and to put up with the aches and pains and transform that into uh, another form of wisdom and humor. So uh, that's that's my magic right now is working with my mother Polly and uh, and and also my business. Okay. I look forward to the day that I will be able to write my own books on goddess lore and then uh, then I want to do a series of goddess books that will be able to pass on my my teachings and my magic and the, that what I know about the ancient mysteries of the Great Mother and the Wise One and the Maiden and all of her myriad uh, forms because as a goddess historian that has been my passion that's carried me through mm -hmm. and I'll be glad to share a little bit of that uh, in, uh, in a different form. So way. would you like to come into my studio and have a look at uh, the images that uh, some of which uh, we produce and others I've collected over the last 30 years. <laughs>
And uh, by taking these goddesses and taking them and presenting them to these young girls, the young girls could see that somewhere in history, their body type was not only represented and considered to be beautiful, but was considered to be sacred and divine. And they were able to kind of go away with a whole um, surprise and a passion and, a, and an amazement about how their body was shaped and to kind of look in the mirror and make their peace with it and realize that they too were goddesses in each in their own right. And many of those girls have in fact gone on to come around to me later and I will find them in a pagan convention or run into them in other, some other walks of life and hear about how that kind of uh, revelation was really key to changing their personal self-image and seeing the divine within them in a better way. So this is my work and my life and someday I hope to write a book about it and I like to be able to travel and lecture and teach and share. Um, hopefully I'm working on getting more and more goddesses that are made of durable material, metals and uh, poly resin and the pieces we make ourselves are made of poly resin and so uh, I can travel to Australia maybe and bring some of my collection to for people uh, to look at and to handle and to pass around in the workshops that we can do about uh, Our Lady of the Beasts or Goddesses of Healing is another workshop that I do and uh, Goddesses of the Darkness and Lady of the Night and uh, somewhere there's a goddess that's waiting for you These are medallions that we created based on our plaques and some of our other jewelry designs. And Oberon um, has um, sculpted some of them and others uh, were done by me. And they came from, um, we, we found a company to produce them for us. And so they're, some of them are in sterling silver and some in gold wash with enamel and lays and some have stone and so we have the uh, the dragon and we have Luna the moon goddess and the sun god here we have Isis in gold and silver we have the wizardry symbol of course and there is the Phoenix caduceus that is a wonderful symbol of the fire dance and uh, bonfire dancing and alternative health and medicine so there's lots of different designs here and of course my favorite is the star goddess so we have lots of different designs and this is our latest branch and our uh, uh, part of our company that we're doing that, to make personal medallions and magical uh, talismans available to people. We also have uh, the representations of water and earth and air and fire and spirit and um, so that's what we're doing with our medallions and we're going to continue. latest design that I just love and she comes with a light base that changes color. I don't have that with me right now but uh, she goes through the different rainbow color phases and she's a really wonderful meditation tool to either have on your altar or to set beside your bedside and watch her as you slowly go to sleep. So I've worked for many many years to try to create this particular piece and make her available in uh, because she is from this ancient Nathor from the Nile River Valley that's probably dates from you know 5000 BC before the pyramids and to be able to produce her in a modern substance and uh, that comes out like she's rising like a crystal out so this is one of my favorite uh, new designs that I'm really in love with and, and excited about sharing